to all in law this is a medical video lecture microbiology and in this video we're going to talk about the virulence factor the virulence factors or factors of pneumococcus Okay, the pneumococcus. So virulence factors of the pneumococcus. And this is a medical video lecture microbiology. That's why I'm going to talk in this manner. Okay, um, and pneumococcus is a really very important bacteria. It causes pneumonia, and meningitis, so many important infections. Okay, that's why you should know very well about this and very important for your similar examination also. So the virulence factors, let me start with the capsule. So you know this is these bacteria have the capsule okay and this encapsulated what you call the strains of this uh, pneumococcus they are if they have the capsule they are pathogenic okay and if they don't have the capsule they are non-pathogenic okay and another very important thing is that the capsule if they're capsulated then the capsule is immunogenic and induce the production of a type of specific antibody that protects it against the disease caused by this immunological related strains capsule okay so remember so capsule has a two important things as I said if they have the capsule they are pathogenic if they don't have non-pathogenic and this capsule is what you call immunogenic and can induce the production of a type specific antibody okay that protects what you against the disease caused by immunologically related okay strains capsule production is encoded by chromosomal gene right so too important and it's a polysaccharide remember it's called the polysaccharide capsule I should have written this polysaccharide capsule okay right now let's talk about the another virulence factor of this Pneumococcus is IgA protease. IgA proteases. Streptococcal pneumonia, streptococcus pneumonia produces an IgA protease, okay, and this IgA protease inactivates secretory IgA antibodies. Secretory IgA antibodies. Inactivates, okay right remember very important then we have another virulence factor that's a protein adesine protein adesine okay and this protein adesine okay that helps in adhesion okay initial colonization of the or in the what you call oropharynx is mediated by this virulence factor or the oropharynx Okay, if the bacteria, the pneumococci, wants to get added, what you call added to the oropharynx, they need this protein adhesin virulence factor. Then we have another one. Let me write or in the next screen. They are cell wall constituents, virulence factors, like tichoic acid. This is one of the cell com cell wall component, right? Tichoic acid. Then we have peptidoglycan fragments. Okay. Right? And this remember tichoic acid and the peptidoglycan fragments causes the tissue destruction. They destruct the tissue by activation of alternate alternative complement pathway complement pathway okay right then they have what's called pneumolysin 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 okay pneumolysin this damages the tissue by activating classic classic complement pathway Okay, classic complement pathway. 
and the S2O2 is also there okay this can also lead to tissue damage by reactive oxygen intermediates okay reactive oxygen intermediates so these are the virulence factors of the pneumococcus okay guys so polysaccharide capsule IgA proteases protein adhesin cell wall constituent constituents like picoic acid peptidoglycan fragments pneumolysin and H2O2 thank you so much for watching this video please do share our videos and do subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe and share our videos thank you so much Take